In this video, we're going to show you how to tackle in American football, and we're going to cover it from a beginner level or an entry level perspective. Now, it's good to understand that every single coach has their philosophy on tackling, okay? This is just my personal philosophy. I, with uh, the Victory Platform, has been the position to talk to some great coaches, such as Coach Degatano from Fordham University and Coach Spencer Smith, who actually runs the Triple H Tackling Academy, and many, many others that I've had the chance to talk to. So this is my philosophy that I've built from just learning from those guys. Uh, if you wanna check out those videos and those articles that we've written, we'll link it above, we'll link it below. Be sure to check it out after this video. But this video here is gonna talk from a beginner level standpoint, maybe if you've never played the game of football before, or if you're looking to tackle a little bit better uh, from a youth level or a high school level, this is going to help you out. But as mentioned, every coach has their philosophy. This is just mine, so let's get into it. So the very first thing that we're gonna look at is the approach in the footwork to tackling. Now this is one of the biggest reasons why tackles are missed is because of poor or improper angles to the ball carrier which allows them to either cut back on you or it doesn't give you a position to bring power through the tackle. So the biggest thing is the approach and what we recommend on defense is put your players in a position of the angles that they're going to see within practice and what we mean by that is if you look from a linebacker perspective most of their tackles are going to happen head on or working into out. Okay, if you look from a defensive back perspective, they're going to be running the alley, okay, which is down and out or even down and in. From a corner perspective, 90% of the tackles hop, happen from outside in. So what we like to do is we like to put players in the position to tackle that they're going to see in the actual game. That way they can start to match the angles up as they're starting to hit the ball carrier. So the first thing that you want to do is create drills for your players or create drills for your your kid or whatever it may be, where they start close, okay? We wanna make sure our feet are in the right position. So you want your near foot, near shoulder is what we wanna make contact with, okay? So we'll start with the near foot. What I mean by near foot is the closest foot to the ball carrier as you're going to run through it, okay? So for this instance here, if we're going to the right, we wanna make sure that our right foot is up as we're making contact, okay? So as you're approaching the ball carrier, you want your near foot to be the closest to the ball carrier. That way you can explode out through your back foot, which would be left foot in this instance, to be able to bring all that power through your hips and through the ball carrier. So a great way to practice this is actually start with your feet in position and the contact being made on the ball carrier and then slowly move your way backwards. So you wanna get in a ready position right next to the ball carrier. That way the player can start to feel where the tackle should be made, back them up three yards and then have them approach the ball carrier. Back them up another three yards, have them approach the ball carrier. So this way you're practicing all different angles in the approach, that way the feet is ready on positioning when they're trying to make a tackle. Now number two we're gonna talk about is the actual contact itself, and this is going to be one of the things that are debated in the comment section, I know it is, and it's again, it's a philosophy thing, uh, but should the head be in the contact or out of the contact? What a lot of football coaches are teaching now is the rugby style of tackling where essentially the head is out of the contact. And what we mean by that is when you go to make contact with another player, you use your shoulder as opposed to putting your head across the body of the tackling. And for this video here, we're gonna teach the rugby style of tackling and what all these other coaches that we have talked to teach the rugby style of tackling. And what that means is once their feet are in position, the shoulder is then gonna be the first to make the contact on the player's thighs, and then we're gonna run our feet to the finish, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But whether you teach the head in the tackle or head out of the tackle, my biggest coaching point for you is just make sure that shoulder is efficiently hitting the thighs, okay? And Coach Degatano mentioned this, called it a strike zone, okay? We wanna make sure that we are striking this area right here for efficient contact. Now remember, running backs can't run or wide receivers can't run with the football if they have their legs wrapped up. So as the contact is being made with the shoulder, we then wanna wrap the thighs as tight as possible, okay? Coaches will call it clamping, I call it wrapping, but whatever it may be, you wanna tell your player or your kid, whoever it is, I wanna squeeze those thighs as tight as possible. That way you immobilize the person that's running with the football. So efficient contact with the shoulder, and wrapping the legs will put the ball carrier on the ground. But we're not just gonna stop there, and this is where our final point comes in, and this is number three. We talk about the finish. If you're running as fast as you can, your feet are in position, you make good, sufficient contact with the ball carrier, it doesn't end there. And this is where you see a lot of defensive players will get run over by an offensive player as if their feet isn't in position, or the contact isn't 
coupled with the finish. And what we're talking about now, and this is number three, is the finish. So once you make contact with the ball carrier and your feet are in position, we wanna keep running our feet, okay? And what this is gonna do is add a little bit more contact and a little bit more strength behind your initial tackle. That way we can go through the legs and again, as Coach Degatano mentioned in one of his videos, which I love, you always want to finish the tackle on top, okay? If you're finishing the tackle and you're laying on your back, wrap was good, but your approach and your footwork weren't, okay? So the way to dissect it as a coach, if you're watching this, is you always want your uh, tackler to finish on top, okay? So everything we do is we hit, we wrap, and we want that ball carrier to go backwards. That way he's not gaining an extra two or three yards on the contact. Again, one, two, and three, the approach, the footwork, the contact with the shoulder, and then number three is finishing by running the feet, and we always wanna tackle the bar, ball carrier by finishing on top. As always, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. We highly, highly encourage you go watch out these videos right here. That will help you uh, learn a little bit more about tackling. Again, Coach Degatano and Coach Spencer Smith, we had breakdown videos with those guys. They show you everything that you need to know about tackling, that way you can teach it to your kid, uh, you know, your players or whoever it may be, it's going to help you out a ton. So go check these videos out and learn a little bit more about tackling.